Hello my beautiful people, how are you doing? This is Khadra again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and join my family. As requested, today I will be making this video on how to find a scholarship, how to find those resources. So today's video will cover how to find a scholarship for high school, undergraduate and graduate scholarships. So everything that I will be providing here will be based on my own personal experiences, how I found a scholarship. So I am a UBC student in a dual degree program called Bachelor and Master of Management program in Sauter School of Business with a full scholarship. And I also graduated from high school here. I will walk on the process of how I try to like find a scholarship and today uh, I will provide that for you. And I think that will be essential information that will help you to find a scholarship or the programs that you desire to apply for. First step, look for opportunities. Uh, that means that you have to ask around people that who have decided abroad. Ask those people what are the name of the school that they went to, um, they went to, or just there are there are a lot of people who have applied for a few schools, and if they did not get in, they will be so disappointed that oh, I did not get in. So don't be discouraged by that. There are thousands of opportunities. So that means that you do not need to be discouraged and disappointed of just failing and not get into one or two schools that rejected you. The second one is search on Google, browse Google. Uh, I remember when I was in Afghanistan three, four years ago, no one, literally no one helped me. What I did was searching on Google saying that international high school in the US, a scholarship for Afghan students, a scholarship for Afghan women opportunities. I was searching everything that could come to my mind and then you know that Google has a lot of like, it, it just automatically comes list of scholarship, list of opportunities and what you need to do is like just go in each of those links and then try to find programs or specifically the school or any opportunity that you're looking for. So for instance, I did some searches here and this just showed up. 20 high school scholarship in Canada 2022. And then what you can do is just like read everything here, go scroll down and see what are some of the requirements here and if you have the eligibility or not. So it just browse the website here and then it just literally tells you everything. So as you can see here it says that American Latino scholarship cie program scholarship so th there's just a bunch you just need to look around and see what is specifically you're looking for or another example i searched that fully funded scholarship for afghanistan student 2022 and if you go scroll down so these are the specific thing that they want you to know what you need to know about afghanistan education top universities in afghanistan which is that's not what we are looking for. And fully funded scholarship for Afghanistan students. And I think these are some specific things that students in Afghanistan are looking for. Um, so basically, um, what you need to do is like scroll down, read everything, read all the criteria here. Like the, let's just say uh, apply for this scholarship. What you need to do is uh, study, read everything here and see what the program is, what are the scholarship, are they covering everything, we're just covering the tuition, uh, what program is that, so in here it just says it's master program in economics, visiting doctoral students three scholarship per academic year, or you know all those things, and here it says eligibility, and you have to read if you have those requirements, like for example, I said that scholarship for Afghan girls students 2022, and then in here, when thousands in scholarship fund for bachelor degree, Degree, or you just have to scroll down. The scholarship for Afghanistan in student 2022 2023, 39 plus fully funded scholarship for Afghanistan students, 260 plus Canada scholarship for Afghanistan students. See, those are specifically the things that you need the opportunities. What you need to do is just click on them, uh, go into the website, see what are those scholarships about. And, and here the, it says that GCLC Travel Fellowship. See if that is what exactly what you're looking for. Don't be scared to go to the website and try to contact them. For instance, I wrote here a scholarship for Afghanistan for students again, and then here it says apply for a scholarship and see if you can find any. And then fully funded the same thing Afghanistan dispatch. Afghanistan students will no longer. I think these are these are some of the articles that might come up with some resources. You never know. You just have to like a dig more. Twelve college scholarship websites plus other resources. Uh, so in here it has some resources and website that can help you find scholarships. Uh, for instance, in here it says fastweb.com, collegeabroad.org, niche.com, scholarship.com. I have not used any of this, but I think it might be useful. Just go in each of this, click on that, and then read 
what are those things specifically and see if it's helpful or not if it's helpful just make an account and they will guide you through ways of like finding opportunities and ways of like how to apply for those and then also i found on facebook there are a lot of pages that is providing scholarship opportunities was posting a lot about educational opportunities abroad for instance the scholarship for afghanistan is a big one it has more recent updated scholarship it has a lot of see no kata mohime burse turkia what you need to do is just like read everything go to each of these links and see if you have the requirements or not and burse germany burse danishka khalifa mutahede rabi burse mastery if you're thinking of applying for master degree or graduate burse mastery dar utrish jaize ek saath 50000 dollars as one of that see like you can always apply for this kind of a scholarships or award and then apply this award into your school let's just say that if you're winning those award that means that if you apply to some of the school that they're not providing a scholarship or they're not covering your tuition or providing fully funded scholarship what you can do is just use this award to pay for your tuition or all the other costs this is how i found a scholarship to be honest when i was when i was in afghanistan that's how i was trying to like search on google a scholarship for high school uh, students international uh, scholarship for afghan students or international schools abroad with full scholarship and i was going through each of the website seeing if i have the eligibility and contacting those uh, schools that's how i applied and i got in remember sometimes if you don't have some of the requirements for example when i was in afghanistan i did not have tofel or alsat uh, exams or score i did not take any of those and at that time my english was bad too so <laughs> anyway so what i did was contacting the school saying hello their admission committee or whatever uh, my name is khatra i'm from afghanistan i'm interested in applying for your school and unfortunately i don't have this uh, one of the requirements to apply for school i'm wondering if you can waive those requirements or if there is anything that i can do in the state and they will tell you that most of the school they will waive the requirements it just depends on if you're applying for a graduate undergraduate or high school for high school they do depends on how strict the school is or sometimes they say that uh, it's okay you don't have to provide me uh, your IELTS exam IELTS score or TOEFL score but instead i want you to take this exam for me to see or evaluate your english level and the second thing don't be afraid don't be afraid please contact them contact all of them contact more than 100 scholarship or opportunities and they will get back to you if you are eligible or not and they will always guide you like they will say for this scholarship go through this link make this account do this do this and that's how you will apply for it and contact them is also giving them an opportunity for to know you better and also to see your interest in school and they will 400% always be there to help you you not contact them is not an option it just makes you more confused ask for help i know a lot of people have approached me to help them apply for scholarship especially the recent one which was UWC i try to help as many people as i could like checking their essays how exactly they can apply for and checking in uh, with their requirements if they have those requirements eligibility to apply for a school or not and you can always like ask me i honestly try my best to answer you if i don't have i will maybe guide you through the resources or see what i can do to help at that moment other than that I always try to ask questions apply or just simple contact email those schools or ask people that who have experience like i know i'm sure you have a lot of people who have this experience or walk through those experiences and they will for sure help you so don't be scared to ask for help and i wish you good luck personally this really helped me and i'm sure this will help you too so take it serious and always remember if you don't put in the work no one is going to be there to help you no one is going to be there to do the work you should be the one doing the work and asking for help and asking for guidance it's it's okay everyone needs that you don't want to ask or message someone and be like hey can you find me a school so i want so i can apply no one's going to do that you you need to find those school for you you need to show the passion and show the willingness that you are putting and and show that you are putting the willingness to do all the effort to do all the hard work to apply for those school no one is going to do the work for you so it's you and only you okay um so that that is my advice for you on ways of uh, how to find scholarship and that on the next video i will specifically go in what helped me to get into ubc and all other universities that i got into and some of the tips that exactly will help you and maybe if you need help on how to write email or show your interest in 
some of the other uh, some of your school that you want to apply you can just like comment below and i will get back to you or any specific video that you need i will for sure make videos and anything that can help you to find those educational opportunities abroad uh, on the next videos i will be if you want i can go specifically on ubc requirements university of toronto university of ottawa and mcgill university are the top canadian school that i got in if you want me to go specifically through each of those requirements and see if you have those eligibility if you have those interests like let me know in the comment below i'll make those videos and i'm here to support you in any ways that i can all right have a beautiful day join my family uh, by subscribing to my channel and share this video with your connection that could be all also helpful for someone else. Alright, have a beautiful day and see you in the next video.